And now back to Young Young Tails' attempted Nuzlocke. Well, that sure complicates things. Way to read the room, dude. No, it's been as long as it is. This what dude got his priorities oh, straight. Save the world, I guess. Using 200 IQ, Hops was pretty sure that the dog we ran into at the very beginning was important and could help us, so we headed back to our hometown to find Impact. him. And trekking through the creepy woods, we don't find the dog, but a rusty old sword and shield. I guess those are what <laughs> to do. We rush face. back to Hammerlock City's power Impact. Line, and we find Chairman Rose going off about Galler's power supply crisis. <laughs> He's not even giving a in shit. 10 years, and to stop it, he summoned this Eternatus thing, hoping he could control it and harness its power. You're something to what now? Just my opinion, man. But a plan involving control of a legendary being with powers beyond understanding usually doesn't end up going well. Yeah. Basically, your plan is stupid. Yeah, so those kind of like all failed. He stopped me with his team full of steel Pokemon, so I left Grievous to deal with him. <laughs> I head upstairs to find Leon, and what the heck is that? Oh! No, 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 no. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. I knew it! Pokemon. I knew he knew Yu-Gi-Oh! Kind of looks like that. Kinda looks like an Xyz monster. Almost none of my Pokemon would be able to damage it without dying, so... Uh, also, uh, it kind of looks like a bug a little bit, because of those spindly limbs. Internatus then turned into this giant starfish thing. That's yeah, that more like a giant... A <laughs> the War like, Punch uh, Man! Uh, rusty Sword and Shield! <laughs> those Punch faces! Birds with the stuff, and we defeat Internatus, where I catch it with a teeny tiny Pokemon. Like I say, it looked more like a giant hand. Earth. Three days later, after one of the largest tangents ever, you know, saving the world, we <laughs> saving are finally the world's a tangent. back to our next. All right, all right, this time, let's get hyped. Today, we finally Ooh, off the team. Leon. Whoops lucked out with a quick claw boost and was able to take out both Aegislash and Rhyperior. All right, Don't two ask down. Don't how many Sneasels I need to get through to find one. <laughs> Leon's Dragapult was a tough one. I was hoping that Nom Nom would be fast enough to take it out, but Nom Nom was outsped and was met with a flame. No, Nom Nom, no! Nom Nom, no! Oh, Nom Nom, we couldn't protect you that time. Grievous came out and was able to coil up and crunch the crap out of the Dragapult, as well as Leech Lion. Alright, that's four down. Healing. And then Gaia was able to win head to head against. Alright, five Nom down, one to go. And then finally, his last Pokemon, Charizard. Dang, that looked cool. Numbered him five to one. But at the same I time, intimid oh, that's intimidating. Oh, that's intimidating. The fact that his Charizard still had pretty much every advantage over all my Pokemon. To deal with his Charizard, I had three choices. Harold, who could hopefully beat Charizard with water attacks. Wooms with electric attacks. And then Jerry with rocks. I sent out Harold first, hoping that he could end it. Let's go, Harold! There, but Charizard got the first strike. Oh! With a powerful air blast. Harold was one shot. Oh, no! Oh crap. I sent in Whoops hoping for another Quick Claw Boost Thunderbolt, but that too failed. Oh god! It was burnt to a crisp. Two of my strongest Pokemon two down. and my best chances to beat Charizard were both wiped out in an instant. At this point, victory was very bleak. If Jerry dies, Charizard will have no trouble oh, defeating the future. my remaining Pokemon. And it will be over. Jerry, you weren't our strongest team member, and often the butt of many jokes, but <laughs> right now, you are our last hope. That dead-eyed stare. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> Jerry stepped onto the battlefield, and Charizard raised a stone wall that came crashing down, and staring into the face of imminent defeat. Oh, I might as well surrender at this point. Spare the rest of my Pokemon. But Jerry was... Oh! Standing. His eyes finally changed! I was just... I I don't know. Chunk it up the high defense, or the fact that Jerry had a giant rock to protect him. <laughs> he carries a shield like with the true oh. power of friendship. This power of friendship, was our baby! Chance. I made Jerry jumbo sized, and we showed that oversized Barney what it's like <laughs> to get squashed by a giant rock. And it was at that moment we won. We completed the Pokemon Sword, kinda sorta, of, but not really Nuzlocke. It was a bittersweet moment since Gaia, Grievous, and Jerry were the only ones who survived. But even so, this victory goes just as much to all the other team members who brought us to where we are now. Lucas, Sweeps, Skarner, Blinks, Sops, Nom Nom, Harold, and Whoops. You are all champions. Some might say that this is a good place to oh, stop he took and Leon's be cake. satisfied. But now that I'm here, I realize that my journey isn't over. Achieving this title of Bug Champion of Galar is not an ultimate goal, but a mere stepping stone in my life. 
So with my team, I am setting out to continue on my journey because I am sure somewhere out there, oh. challenges are waiting for me. And I say, bring it on. Future compilation video? Or not compilation, but um, uh, uh what's that word? My brain fails me. Vengeance part two. Well, that's the end of the video. W once again, if you want to um, see the original, go check it out on his channel. Oh no. Hang on. I think I stopped it in time. You see, this is the video I have saved for later. So if you all want to see me react to this, please leave a comment down below and leave a like on the video. And as I said, if you want to um, check out the original, this is what it looks like on YouTube. Young Young Tails attempting my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. Well, that's all for now, so talk to you all later.